Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here in Exeter with Lee from Pavilion. And Lee, basically you are the site engineer here on this site, part of a really big housing complex, but actually this is going to have Tesco's on it and other facilities for the people living around here. And uh, you're the first person I've met on site with one of these, um, which is the tilting version uh, of the Leica surveying equipment. Tell me, first of all, what have we got here uh, beside me and, and how you're using it on this site? Well, this is a, a GS18 uh, running on like a Captivate. Yep. So it uses all of the 3D control for, you know, sort of mapping and setting out and surveying objects on site. So it's very handy to be able to rotate and look at everything in three dimensional space other than just plan 2D space. And folks, it tilts. Now that's actually significant, isn't it? Look at the step system we have behind us here. You know, you're able to use that in a much safer way, aren't you, to get those oh, yeah. levels and accuracy? Oh yeah, definitely. Whereas before you were having to obviously plumb the rod to be to get a dead position. Whereas now we can just point at any sort of position like this, and you know we don't have to go down into a hole or into a road or. You know, it gives us a lot more scope to be able to get to places we couldn't get to before. So in a situation like this, if you've got to set something like up on the bank, you'd have to cut the bank out to be able to get there safely. Whereas now you can literally just sort of, you know, point the rod down into the hole and, um, you know, give a driver a position from, from that standpoint. And this is the whole point here um, on site. You've actually got Leica Geo Systems 3D machine control in your Hitachi machines on yeah. site here that are digging all of these sort of levels. It's about you know capturing that again within the Leica system but yeah. then creating those models uh, that are machine ready models isn't it? Oh yeah sure so you know I'll create the models back in the office and we can then send them over via Connex to the machines and then the drivers have the same models that I'm working to on here and in their machines, and then we can see them remotely. So if there are any things that need adjusting, it can all be done that way then. Tell us a little bit about Connex, because people won't be necessarily familiar with that. When I talk about machine control, they just see things digging to models. Mm. It's not as straightforward as that. You, you actually, the models need to be transmitted to the machine and need to be machine ready, don't they? Oh yeah, I mean, from a speed point of view, when you're working on different sites across you know across the area you can't obviously be everywhere all at once but when you can do it from a central point and literally send them over the internet to a machine you can see how it's been loaded to the machine you can walk through with the driver sort of what they're seeing on their screen so they know what you've uploaded and then that puts them to work a lot faster than than having to wait for an engineer to come to site to then upload that information into the machine for them so and what's fascinating for me about that, folks, is walkthrough is done over the tablet and over the air. You're in the office, yeah. you've sent the model, they've accepted it, it's downloaded into the machine, but then you can physically talk the operator through that model when it's in front of them and, and see what they're seeing as well. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, if, if you have in instances where, say, something changes on site or, you know, for example, a man or might have to move, they can literally use the machine to survey the point, create a new model. I can see that model on the screen, check it, and then get them straight back to work within you know a matter of well minutes really and so beforehand you'd have had to travel to, to site, site here yeah. and uh, you're based in plymouth and, and exeter is an hour at least yeah. uh, away from from where you are um so how has that impacted the way in which the business has worked because you transitioned over to this way of working not that long ago did you the physical man hours are a lot less yeah. as in the physical work of coming to site, setting up profiles, you know, lines, pins, all those sort of all traditional sort of things. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> the the amount that you can cover is, is so much more for, for me as one person, whereas I can control now sort of a fleet at the same time. Yep. And it's sort of proportion in days to, oh, I'm going to that site, I'm going to this site, or trying to split your days in half where, you know, you can build several models, upload everything to all machines concerned and then you know they're they're up and running straight away really so shall we go and see that 3d model that you've designed for the site sure let's go then folks come on follow me <laughs> so we've come inside here now on site and uh, lee we're, we're basically doing now what the surveying engineering job is where we're looking at the 3d model of the site right in front of us you've just taken some points earlier as well for one of the drainage elements um so this is where we start, isn't it? Where you've got all that information that, that's come through. What happens next and, and how have you got to this point in the first place? So 
basically we would obviously receive our drawings from the design engineer yep um i would then sort of import all of that into uh this software so that i can model it and make sure we've got no sort of clashes with pipe networks things like that and from that point on i would then take out the information that's needed to then create a, a sort of more basic file which can then be sent across to the machine and the machine can then follow that out on site then so we're taking the, the we've got the full site here with all the different elements in it all the yeah. drainage points that, that, are, that are particularly the elements we're digging at the moment and so this is a sort of 3d wireframe folks so <laughs> what does that actually mean so, <laughs> um obviously we can change our views so that's right. that's our complete uh, manhole and pipe network for the the part of the site that we're working on now yeah so within this model we can sort of rotate and sort of look at where we need to be within that which is great in the fact that a we can check for discrepancies within the network and you know any again any sort of human error that's that's sort of been transferred through at any point yeah and from that point we can then take the specific parts that we need whether it's the point of a manhole a, a pipeline a gradient whatever that might be extrapolate that out from the model and then create a model that can then be sent to the machine that can be uploaded straight to the machine the drivers then working straight away on that so so from this point here yeah i could essentially upload a new model to that driver and have him following a new model within sort of five or ten minutes so basically what you you're doing there is saying look say we've got three people in doing different jobs what yeah. i don't want to have is any confusion that no. somebody else gets the wrong model we're just uploading that to that particular hitachi machine on here you're just doing that job uh, for the day or you can have a scenario where you've got say a site with one machine on it lots of different little plots that they can have the whole yeah. site on there. Well, yeah. that that's really does may, mean that you can focus in on what you, you want everybody to do, doesn't it? Again, it, it, that is one of the great parts about it is because you can you can do a lot of the engineering prep work prior to the site starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can set out all, you can essentially create all your foundation work, your pipe networks, your road network, have the whole thing uploaded to the machine and then they can select it as they need to go through yep. instead of constant site visits to set out plots or set out roads, set out profiles, set out pipe networks again. You know, th there's so much more work that can be done in advance. And it's all actually enabled, folks, by the team at One Point Survey that I have invited me on my, my little Southwest tour. And again, that relationship's really important. You know, they're on site with you on a regular basis. They're not just you know, helping you with machine control and the surveying equipment. You can actually rent it from them and things like that as well when you get to different, uh, more complex sites and things like that, which is important, uh, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're great. I mean, we've worked with them for years. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got all of the you know technical support is, is there whenever you need it. And, you know, you've almost got a direct route to Leica if you, if you need to step up to, you know, a higher level of technical uh, support but yeah you, you can't fault them really it's just everything you need is there at the, you know within 24 hours or you know just at the end of a phone call so that's fantastic so it really is a collaboration here taking you to a different level and it's ultimately delivering projects faster more effectively and of course folks once it's all finished we can still see underground thanks to the clever models that you've created and your team's done great to see you today cheers no worries